Hello, this video will show you how to create the measure, mark, cut, and fold pattern. Before we get started marking your book, it's best to go ahead and have all of your materials handy. The first thing you need is going to be a ruler. This particular ruler is one that I have in my Etsy store and I've printed it out on cardstock so I have a good sturdy base. You'll need the book that you want to use. Make sure that it is free of any damage on the spine because the spine will be what's holding it up when you're finished. I have my book folding rock, which um, you really just need something heavy to press the pages down. And um, this rock works out great for me because it's wide and flat and heavy. And so I use my book folding rock there. I have a sharpened pencil, a pair of scissors that have a very fine edge to them for, some, for making some smaller cuts. And of course your pattern. So we are ready to begin marking our book. The first thing I do is open up the book and then I skip um, the end page. Usually the end page is going to be somewhat decorative and I just fold that back and use my book folding rock to hold down the cover so I can work. Next, I take my ruler and I insert it um, a little bit, a little ways into the book. You can kind of um, change how many pages you want to use. That's totally up to you. It doesn't really matter at this point. It's just what your eye likes. And then you have your pattern. So with these types of patterns, these measure mark cut and fold patterns, you'll see that when you start off, we have our page number here, which is gonna be the first page of the book, and then our first two measurements. Unlike the other patterns, this particular type skips the next page. It's called an inset page. We'll come back and do something with that later when we're cutting and folding, but for right now, you just skip the page. And then you continue, so on and so forth. When you're looking at the pattern, the measurement that is the furthest to the left is gonna be your smallest measurement. Of course, the one to the the one that's furthest on the right is gonna be your largest one, so your first and last measurement. So when you come down here to the others where there's more than just two, you just go from top to bottom with your measurements. So I'll show you what that looks like. So my first measurement is 10 and 10.8. So I put my ruler in and I find the 10 and 10.8. 10, and all I do is just make little marks with my pencil. I scratch out where I've marked and I go ahead and flip the page. And now this next page is an inset page. So I'm going to skip it as well. And now I continue with my marking. The next one is nine, eight and 11. So I take the page I've marked on and my inset page and skip. And in this way, you continue marking your book until you've gotten to the end of your pattern. Continuing to mark and to skip every other page. Usually I like to have on um, a movie or a TV show an audiobook or a podcast, something to listen to while I work. You'll need to be precise and accurate with your measurements, otherwise your pattern won't turn out like it's supposed to. So it does require a little bit of focus until you get used to it. But I find it's a great stress reliever. After a long day at work, it's always nice to come home and have something to focus on in this way. And so for the rest of the pattern, I will continue to mark and to skip until the pattern is complete. Now 
When you are ready to start cutting and folding, you'll need a few things. You'll need a pair of sharp scissors, and you'll need a template that gives you kind of your guide for your folding and your cutting. All this is is a piece of cardstock that um, you can tell I've used pretty heavily, but I've cut it about a centimeter shorter than the width of the book. So now when you see we have our measurement lines here, we're gonna take our template, fit it into the spine or the crease of the book, and we're going to cut every line except for the first and the last. So leave the first mark, leave the last mark, and you're going to cut each one of your measurement mark lines. After that, we're gonna come back and the first and the last measurement mark, the ones that you did not cut, you're going to fold the edge of the page into a right angle with that line and make that crease. So the first and last measurement marks get this type of a fold, the others get the, the cuts. And now we fold starting with every other one. So we start with the first tab, we'll fold that down, leaving the second tab. This third tab we will fold up, leaving the second one down, and this one gets folded up. And in that way, you continue with your book when you have your um, cut and fold lines. So I'm going to move this page out of the way, get my template again. And now this is the page that we did not mark on. This is what's called the inset page. What we're gonna do with this page is all you do is take your template, take the page and fold it over the edge of the template. This makes the depth of the fold the same as what you're cutting and folding on your other pages. And you'll see in just a few minutes um, what the end result is. And in that way, you continue with the rest of your book. Every now and then you'll come to a place in your pattern where it um, has double measurement marks. So when I go through, what I like to do is put a little dot above the measurement line, if you can see that there, and that lets me know when I go back to do my cutting and folding that that is a double measurement mark. Now what this means is that um, this will get a very tiny little cut, and this is where your sharp scissors come into play. We're gonna want to cut on either side of the measurement mark line, and it'll make a very tiny sliver of a cut, but it's important to the overall pattern. I'll show you what that means. So you take your, um, your template here, grab your scissors, and I'm just gonna cut on the left side and the right side of the measurement mark. And you'll see I've got this tiny, tiny little sliver of a cut right here. And then we, get, we continue to do what we normally do. So we'll fold in our first measurement mark, fold the last, and then my tiny little sliver, I'm just going to fold it up. Now, if it falls off, it's okay. Um, sometimes that happens with them, and especially if the pages are a little bit more brittle from an older book. Um, but now you can kind of see that there is a very, very, very thin cut that'll be uh, important to the overall pattern. And that's how you handle the double measurement mark line. Once you are finished cutting and folding your pattern, your book is complete. You can go back and add color to the edges if you like, but that's not necessary. If you liked this video, please follow and subscribe to my channel so you can see when I post other tutorial videos. If you'd like to see more of my work and see some of the patterns and other books that I create, please check out my Etsy, my Instagram, or my Facebook page. I'm Dog Eared Creations on all platforms. Thanks for watching.